Napier Fork of Lower Bad Creek on some property I've owned for 60 years. And uh, of course, I uh, brought them up here to let the people know that there's a few places still left in this, uh, back in Kentucky, that's not been destroyed by strip mining. And I'm very happy to show them all. And uh, I have a stream of water run down through there that I go down and lay down and get a drink out of it. It's nothing, it's nothing, it's not been polluted. There's nothing above it. And I want to keep it that way. This here is called Lady's Thumb. This little brown spot in here is supposed to be a print of a Lady's Thumb. And we used to cook that in the spring of the year when it's hard, times are hard to go out and get food. People that live in the community where I was raised, uh, most of them depend upon these herbs for medicine and for food. And uh, I think it's a good source of food and medicine. See, I've got quite a bit of cohosh here, ginger, and that's a blood root, ginger. What's that sound like? Sounds like a dozer. Coal mine across the hill over there, and I didn't know that. That's what it sounds like is a dozer to me. That's what it did. That dozer's cramming, you know, back and forth. But... Across the ridge there. Trucks moving out there. Yeah, I see that now. I've been watching them. They're mining over here. Now, this here is what's known as Upper Bad Creek. And you see there the mountains. How they, see, it looks like where they come in that way. That's hollers between them. There's a creek there, and it runs into that. And then the main creek runs on down in. That's, that's the into Upper Bad Creek. That's Rock House of Upper Bad Creek. But you can see I've had people bring them back here and I had to contrast that over there with that beautiful mountain over there. To me, that over there looks the best. Well, the United States has the cheapest electricity per kilowatt hour of any country in the world and he contributed to that because we had this abundance of coal. But he didn't consider the other factors in there to get that kilowatt hour electricity, what it's going to cost in other ways, you know. You have to give up your drinking water, you're having to give up the, your uh, timber and the wildlife habitat and a lot of these things that means a lot to people, even a lot of herbs that's used for medicinal purposes and also for food supplements that's being destroyed with these mountains being removed. Yeah, it's a, that's, a, that's, a, that's a true cost of coal. You know, electricity is a great thing, it's handy. Well, I think that we could eliminate some of the cost of it by finding another alternative besides fossil fuel.